Hello, everybody. It's me, Pastor TJ, and I'm coming live to you today from Trinity Community Church, our Coffee Run campus. I'm here today to just share with you a little Christmas devotional thought. Sometimes when we hear the Christmas story, most of you are like me. You've heard the Christmas story over and over for a long time. Sometimes we forget that all of the players in the Christmas story were real people, just like me and you. That means they had real anxieties. That means they had real fears. That means that they didn't necessarily know what the outcome was going to be while they were in the midst of the story. Does that sound familiar? Have you ever wrestled with fear? Have you ever wrestled with doubt? Have you ever wondered, God, I know that, you know, the Bible tells me that you're in control, but sometimes you're like, Lord, you know, if you could drop me another breadcrumb, that would be great. I think that's the exact posture where we find Mary and Joseph back in the Christmas story. In fact, when you read the story in Matthew chapter 1, verse 18, the story reads like this. It says, this is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. How many of you know that that, that little phrase right there had the propensity to kind of create an awkward situation, right? Um, yeah, yeah, who's the daddy? Well, God's the daddy. Really, is God the daddy? That's where Mary and Joseph kind of started their story, right? says, Joseph, whom she was engaged with, was a righteous man that didn't want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break off the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she'll have a son, and you're to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through the prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child, and she'll give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The two things that really jump out at me in that passage is first is this. It says, it says Joseph, again, in a moment, you know, he kind of took a step back to consider everything. What does it mean to consider things? To consider things means to step back and to give God room and opportunity to speak to your situation. So Joseph did this. God spoke. And then the God that seemed to be far off to Joseph became the God that is close. Emmanuel, God with us. I know all of us are battling situations right now. All of us are engaged into fears and all of us have a certainty of doubt. The unknown is like a shadow over us sometimes. But beloved, understand this. As long as we take a minute to consider God's heart, God's voice, as long as we step back and give the Holy Spirit an opportunity to speak to us, um, we remember this, we're never alone. The promise of Christ is Emmanuel, God with us. God is not distant, he's not far away, he's not you know, on a mountain somewhere that you have to seek. God is as close as the mention of his name. He's as close as the air that's around you. I don't know what you're going through today, but I do know this. If you take a moment to just invite God into all your situations, you'll be shocked, you'll be blown away in all the ways that God will come and he'll meet you exactly where you are. Thank you for giving me a minute of your time. God bless you. Don't forget the church is a people, not a place. You're the church. I'm the church. Now's the time to rise and be the church. God bless you.